hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how you can auto browse the backnet devices from the network and after auto browsing the backnet device how can you create the tag of that backnet device automatically in the cap server okay previously we have posted one video in that video i have show everything manually okay how to add device how to create tag for those devices but now in this video capware i mean cap server can do everything automatically so in this video we are going to cover that that how to use the browsing facility of cap server to auto browse the device okay and then automatically create the tag for that browse device so we will see that in this video so here is my cap server okay now we will go to connectivity and we will create a new channel for our backnet protocol okay so here i am going to type backnet ip okay so channel we have selected is a backnet ip channel okay channel name is a back okay next now network adapter so suppose your backnet device is a physical backnet device then you have to select your physical adapter here okay right now i'm going to run my device in my system okay in the local host so here is my backnet device backnet room simulator so it's a simulator device okay and it is running on my local host system so that is why i'm going to select the default one okay now i'm going to press next here okay so leave it as it is now the udp port so this device is running on 47808 back zero protocol or we can say udp port 47808 so that is why i have to specify the port number here and then i have to press next again next and then finish okay we have specified the backnet channel okay now what we want to do is we want to auto browse this device i don't want to add this device manually okay i want to auto browse this device so what we will do is we will right click here and we will click on device discovery okay now you can press on the begin discovery and you can see discovery scope you want a local discovery you want a global discovery you want a remote discovery or you want a direct ip discovery in the direct ip discovery you have to specify the ip address of that device if it is connected physically with your system if it is simulator or if it is in your network where your system is then you can choose local and then you can cl click on ok and here is the minimum limit of your device id and here is the maximum limit of your device id ok you can change the limit according to your device id so you can see here i have a device id of 3588107 ok which is comes under this limits so this device will get discovered when we run this discovery setting so i'm going to press ok here okay you can see here device one and you can see the description room controller dot simulator so this device has been automatically discovered by the cap server so i'm going to add this device you can see here id of this device is 35881107 which is available here previously we were doing same thing manually but if you have some confusion or if you have some doubt then you can also auto discover the backnet devices from your network so you can change the device name like room simulator okay now go to tag import and enable everything okay just click on apply and then press ok here and close this device discovery wizard now your device is added here okay now what we want to do is we want to fetch all the tag which is associated with this device so we will right click on our device we will go to properties we will go to tag generation then we will click on create tag before pressing this button you must have to enable everything here okay so if your analog input is disabled then you won't able to get analog input tag from this device so make sure you have enable everything then after you have to go to tag generation and then after you have to click on create tag so it will automatically starting to create tags automatically fetch the tags from the device and you can see here we have a list of tag available here you can press ok and you can see our tag is created so analog input 0 is an object inside that object we have this much of tags okay you can read the tag description 
you can read the event state you can read the present value of analog input zero and analog input zero is related to something like set point or something that you have to read in the object name okay so if i open uh, okay we cannot open from here we can directly open quick client from here and if i open analog input zero okay you can see here the values okay see analog input zero dot description so here the description description is equal to indoor temperature and uh, you can see object name is equal to temperature dot indoor so this is your tag name and this is your tag value okay and this is the unit it's a coded unit okay so 62 is associated with degree centigrade okay so you have to decode it later on in your SCADA system or something else okay so your object has some tag you can read those tags here okay and then after with the help of these tags you can either log this tag or this is already converted into opc da you can also convert into opc ua and you can also publish those tags values over the mqtt protocol okay so this is very simple so i hope you got idea that how to discover backnet device in the cap server how to auto create the device tag backnet device tags or you can say backnet device objects in the cap server okay so if you still have any doubt or any question or any concern then you can ping me on the whatsapp telegram instagram and also you can comment on this video so i hope everything is clear that how you can browse the devices from here device discovery and how you can create tag from the properties tag generation option okay so i hope everything is okay for you and if you still have any doubts then you know where to ask so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you